Hi guys, James here, thank you for coming to watch. And today we're gonna to answer the question, does this Friedman amp have enough gain for my purposes, for what I was looking for? Um, if you haven't been on the channel before, recently I've been on a bit of a journey to find some new amps. This all started when I bought two Two Rock amps um, a few months ago now, a couple of months ago. Those were this classic Reverb Signature and then a Bloomfield Drive both of which give me the ultimate sort of American voiced, super Fender, Dumbly type of sounds that I was looking for and I absolutely love them. Um, just if you want to hear the classic reverb. And that's, that's exactly the sort of American voiced, hot rodded sound I want. And yet they can make the most beautiful, clean sounds and a good range all the way up to that medium gain, but it's not saturated sort of sound. And then I got to a point where I thought I'd love to pair the amps up with something else, with something with a different sort of color to it. If I put the, the, the Bloomfield Drive and the classic Reverb Signature together, I sometimes wonder why I've got both because although in isolation their character is really different from each other when you put them together they can cancel each other out a little bit so each of them their cleans can sound a bit similar and their gain can sound a bit similar when you put them together there's not enough difference so it's it's not sort of pairing two different voices together to create something great it's just putting out one great voice that sounds fantastic I mean I'm not complaining of course but where did I go after that well the other amps that I've got are a Marshall JTM 45 and a Vox AC 15 which are great amps that I really enjoy playing, and but I enjoyed them more before I was spoilt by spoilt by the two rocks. Essentially, uh, it's yeah, real first world problems. But um, once you've played incredible hand wired boutique amps, sometimes you feel like the, the amps like the Marshall and the Vox, which are not their hand wired counterparts, don't have quite the feel and the dynamics and the picking attack that you can get with the hand wired stuff. Um, the proof actually is with my little custom Fender Custom 64 Princeton, which is hand wired uh, and really expensive for the size and, and what it is. Um, and it feels incredible, you know, compared to other Fender amps I've played that aren't hand wired. Uh, it just has a different feel to it. So, you know, it does tell me that really there is a difference. So once you're used to playing these sorts of amps, then the ones you pair them with have to sort of match up. A little bit you know in terms of quality um, <clears throat> so what did I do next well I, I was sort of researching what British voiced amps would I be really interested in uh, I immediately thought I'll just buy a matchless amp because matchless probably have the greatest reputation of that side of things the British voice side in the boutique world but a few things really is um, they're sort of a similar price to the two rock a, li a little bit a little bit less expensive uh, but that would give me one new amp and essentially by buying slightly cheaper ones I could afford to buy three amps two of which are here already and that includes this Friedman and my Dr. Z Maz 18 which is fantastic really impressed by that but that's uh, we'll, we'll make videos about that separately and then also together with the Friedman and then I've got another amp on its way surprise amp uh, we'll see that in a few days maybe and once you've gone down that route of thinking I could have three great amps instead of the matchless, then, you know, that sort of opened things up for me and it's fun doing the research and going online. Uh, but at the moment, with everything going on in the world, there aren't a lot of amps left on the shelf. People have been at home for six months and they've been buying all the amps. So brand new amps were not easy to find. Uh, Peach Guitars in the UK have the Freedmans and the Dr. Z's as well as Sir's, Sir Amps and a few other boutique amps. They do a really uh, great selection there. But really, they didn't have much left. They had some Dr. Z Mazes. I think that's their bread and butter when it comes to boutique amps. Um, and then they didn't have any Freedmans left. They got a shipment coming in next month, but the only amp from there available to me was a BE50 Deluxe or a BE100 Deluxe. That amp, although the pinnacle of the Freedman tree, just offers me too much gain. I don't need that much gain. So certainly if I'm trying to match up with the two rocks. I don't need that saturated 80s style thing. I could have looked at Soldano then, I could have got a BE amp. You know, there are lots of those sort of high lead gain lead amps, uh, which I guess stemmed all from the JCM 800 line from Marshall. What I wanted 
was more of a super plexi sound. So the Dr. Z Maz uh, is a, some sort of martially voxy mashup, but it sounds a bit more voxy to me, a bit more chimey, and I love it for that. So I wanted the more hot rodded JTM sound. And that left me with, with um, <coughs> basically the Sir Badger and the Friedman Dirty Shirley, which is what this is, and the Friedman Small Box. And really I wanted the Small Box. I couldn't get it anywhere. It's going to be weeks and months until anyone has one. So I started scouring the net, as you do, on, uh, on last week. And I came across this on eBay. And it was going for a really good price. I had a chat with the guy selling it. Nice guy, not too far from me in London. And so I was able to pick this up for, you know, probably half of what a new one is uh, costs. Um, this is obviously a slightly older model because it doesn't have the toggle switch. I think new ones have a toggle switch for different game structures. This one doesn't have that, so it's pre-2016. That suits me down to the ground. I didn't want lots of knobs and things. You know, the two rocks are complicated uh, in a good way, but I just wanted something simple. So I'm happy with that. Brought it home on Sunday, plugged it in, and it popped a fuse instantly. <laughs> and I thought, oh God, I've been done here. Um, <laughs> I've bought a complete, um, you know, lame duck basically but no I got back in contact with the guy he was very friendly and he sent me a new rectifier tube and a new fuse because I didn't have any of those fuses they've arrived already within a couple of days so thank you to him I won't name him in case he doesn't want to be named but um he's parted with his Friedman amp he's got a two rock amp and I'm sure he's happy with that um and so I'm grateful for that I've turned it on I haven't actually turned it on yet it's on standby I wanted to do this on video to get my first sound of this amp uh, so we're going to do that in a second, but yeah, this is the Dirty Shirley 40 watt with a 1x12 uh, with a cream back in it. Um, I've got some pedals here, we won't turn on anything on yet, let's just see how we go. Let's see how much gain, does it have enough gain? I'm sure it does. <laughs> I don't play with a massive amount of gain. So let's roll the gain back to 9 o'clock. And I hope this isn't all too loud for my mics. And on we go. All right, we've got the R9, Custom Shop Gibson R9 here, which is not very high output anyway, uh, but we'll start on the neck pickup, number seven volume, give it some welly, uh, and let's go. First thing is it's not quite loud enough and as we turn the gain up it's going to get louder but the picking feels like it does on a two rock it has that instant dynamic attack to it <laughs> let's just go over to the bridge <laughs> up a lot right we didn't come here for nine o'clock did we let's try 12 o'clock whack this up my first ever time playing a Friedman. I didn't know what to expect. Um, yeah, basically my only Marshall experience is from the JTM 45, which is lovely, but doesn't have a feeling like this. This has got much more sort of dynamic feel. <laughs> Right, 
Right, let's turn it up to two o'clock. Number seven on the neck volume. tight bottom end basically and uh, you, you've got that it's not too woofy I could turn down the bass a little bit see what happens there enough gain for me but let's we've got to go right up so all the way on let's see what happens to the mics <laughs> exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, well, that's the most I'd be looking for, let's put it that way. In reality, I'm probably going to live more in the middle part of the range here. Um. great it's not too loud I've got the attenuator set back one step just to sort of help me out but I feel like the master on here is probably uh, fantastic I think Friedman are known for really good master volumes so if I turn the attenuation off and um, we've gone back to just before nine o'clock <laughs> Probably the most effective master volume I've ever heard on a tiny bit more. Wow, you really could just play this in your in your bedroom. And it's not a lot of amps they go from very you know nothing, tiny bit but with no character to it, and then you go a past a little bit on. Maybe you go past four o'clock and suddenly, woof, it's up to a lot of volume already. This is very linear, uh, just a tiny bit. And then three o'clock, uh, nine o'clock, sorry. <laughs> really usable 
volume. There's a lot of compression. Um. <laughs> That's awesome. And then just to go to midday and, and see if it block if you know if it knocks our head off. I mean it's pretty loud, but it's not mentally loud. <laughs> Let's turn that attenuation back just one notch. It doesn't actually do a lot, but it's gonna be enough. There we go. Uh, this is my new app, the Friedman Dirty Shirley. Um, some of you who've been watching for the last few weeks would have seen I was looking, so I just wanted to show you what I've gone for. So now I've got the Dr. Z Maz, the Friedman Dirty Shirley. One more amp on its way. And all we need to do now is hear this with the classic reverb. Um, and I'm not going to use any pedals today. The amp sounds fantastic by itself. I don't need any pedals. I didn't really know what to expect. Um, so let's see. Again, this is the amp by itself. This is the classic reverb by itself. Great reverb, and then together. actually where the two rock fills in the gaps because together so with that so the Friedman by itself and then together perfect match really the dr z does something different it's got a more boxy chime to it this one has that m slightly more saturated gain sound hot rodded martial sound uh, i'm pretty sure it's going to be great with pedals we'll find that out when we do a review of it um, but for today this is all i really want to show you does it have enough gain yes it does i'm very happy with that i'm intrigued one day maybe in a year or so if i can get hold of a friedman small box to see the difference there's a lot of debate on the net what is the difference you know how different could they be well we'll find out one day but anyway i hope you've enjoyed this if you want to see more with the dirty shirley more with the maz the two rocks and everything else please subscribe to the channel uh, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and uh, see you next time cheers <laughs>